Hello everyone, I am Amit Burwa from Archikor Medical College, Kolkata. So welcome to my channel. So as you know from the thumbnail and the intro, today I will discuss about the anatomy, the nerve supply, the embryological development and the diseases associated with the pinna. So watch till end and for more updates subscribe the artistic doc. So let's start the anatomy. Oracle or pinna. The entire pinna except its lobule and the outer part of the external acoustic canal are made up of yellow elastic cartilage with skin covering. There is an area on pinna where deficiency of cartilage between the tragus and cruce of the helix is seen, called incisura terminalis. Area used for endoural approach in surgery of the external auditory canal or mastoid. Pinna is also the source of several graft materials for the surgeons. Now let's see the nerve supply of pinna. It is supplied by five different nerves. Most of the medial surface and only posterior part of lateral surface is supplied by greater auricular nerve. Lesser occipital nerve supplies a small superior portion of the medial part. Auriculotemporal nerve supplies the tragus, cruce of helix with its adjacent area. Auricular branch of vagus, which is also known Arnold's nerve, supplies concha and corresponding eminence of medial surface. Facial nerve, distributed with fibers of auricular branch of vagus, supplies the retroauricular groove and concha. Now come to the developmental process. Around the six weeks of embryonic life, six tubercles appears around the first bronchial cleft. Tragus develops from the tubercle of the first bronchial arch, and rest of five tubercles of the second arch forms rest of the pinna. See the six hillux and the corresponding parts of pinna which develops from them. Now let's discuss about the diseases afflict the pinna. Pinna may be affected by congenital, traumatic, inflammatory, or neoplastic diseases. So start from the congenital anomalies. Anoxia, see the complete absence of pinna and lobule. Microtia, it's frequently associated with anomalies of external acoustic canal, middle and inner ear. Hearing loss is also frequent. Bad ear, occurs due to poor development of antihelix and scapho with large concha. This deformity can be corrected surgically after 6 years of age. Cryptosia, look the upper third of the auricle is embedded under scalp skin. It can be corrected by mobilizing pinna to normal position and covering the raw area by skin graft. Preauricular sinus, forms due to faulty fusion between first and second arch tubercle. In case of its repeated infection, surgical excision of the tract is done. Coloboma, a transverse cleft in the pinna in the middle is seen. Now come to the trauma portion. Hematoma of the pinna. It results due to blunt trauma. Collection of blood is seen between the auricula cartilage and its perichondrium. Blood may clot and form a typical deformity called cauliflower ear. Normally treated by ASPIRating the hematoma under a septic condition with pressure dressing. Aspiration may need to be repeated. If failed, incision and drainage should be done. Lacerations may happen on pinna. To manage laceration skin is closed with non-absorbable suture. Broad-spectrum antibiotics are given for one week. Aversion of pinna. It is managed by re-implantation by microvascular techniques. In some cases after removing a volst segment of pinna cartilage is implanted under post-auricular skin. Frostbite of pinna. Its treatment consists of revarmang of pinna at temperature of 38 to 42 degrees with moist cotton pledgets, application of 0.5% silver nitrate, analgesics, 
systemic antibiotics, protection of bully from rupture and surgical debridement after forming true demarcation between dead and living area. Keloid. It is usually seen on lobule following trauma or piercing. Recurrence can be prevented by using 600 to 800 rad delivered in four doses in pre- and postoperative sessions. After excision steroids can be given too. Now let's start the inflammatory disorders. Perichondritis. It results secondary to any lacerations, surgical incision, or hematoma. Pseudomonas is the common pathogen. In early stage treatment systemic antibiotics with local 4% aluminium acetate compression is applied. In case of abscess development it must be drained and sent for culture and sensitivity testing. Antibiotics selected as per culture and sensitivity report. Relapsing polychondritis. It is rare autoimmune disorder involving the cartilage. Pinna except the lobule becomes tender and inflamed. To manage this case high dose of systemic steroid is given. Chondrodermatitis nodularis chronica helicis. Small painful nodule is seen at the border of helix in men. It occurs at the age of 50 years. Nodular excision is done with its skin and cartilage as its treatment procedure. The tumors of pinna will be discussed in the next subsequent videos. So stay tuned and for more updates subscribe the artistic doc. Write your feedback in the comments section. Paintings drawn and video edited by Amit Barua. Thanks for watching.